after so many years of waiting, we finally have a live action Gundam film. And this time around, it's a collaboration between Sunrise and Legendary Pictures. I mean, who else better than Legendary Pictures to help co-create a film with Sunrise given that they made Pacific Rim 1 and 2 and also really play one where we oh, saw the granddaddy RX-88 to coming out in the fight scene, yeah. So, right now, there is not a lot of information to go through, uh, like who is the director, who's going to be leading the film, but we do know that Carl Boyder is going to be overseeing the entire project on behalf of Legendary Pictures, and also, hopefully in the next few weeks or next few months, we'll have a lot more details coming out as in what is the storyline is going to be based at, whether it's going to be based on the Universal Century timeline or not. And given that, 2019 is actually going to be the 40th anniversary of the Gundam franchise. So we do think that maybe the movie can make it by end of next year. We don't know because right now I don't think they started filming yet. So we are kind of doubtful that it's going to happen in end of 2019. Well, let's see whether are they going to go with the Unicorn Gundam or the RX-78 to, uh, to base the story. Yet. We don't know much right now but we do know that we are happy that we finally have a live action Gundam film so brace yourself for a lot of new merchandise coming up very soon once the movie hits and next up this is what is going to be the next premium bandai release we think so this is not confirmed but when we saw this gm from the upcoming uh, gm build diverse side story this gm does look like a normal gm but it is heavily armored and if you look at the plum model kit interpretation of the original design man this guy just looks so much better it looks like a gm dominance with an added uh, booster pack on his back and also the rifle and the thrusters on his legs looks pretty good another piece of good news we have media campaign coming back in asia so from 1st july till 30th september if you buy any gunpla with your resellers or toy store they will come with a serial code for you to enter on the website to pick any of the prizes of your choosing. Obviously, the grand prize this time around is the Xeon capping set, or the perfect grade set, or a PlayStation 4 and a Gundam Breaker game. Uh, we do not have a grand prize to go to Japan as what has happened last year, but we still think that the prizes on offer are equally great. So, this is the time to buy Gunpla, guys. You know, you get to buy and you get to win some of the prizes. So, make sure you start saving up and start spending. Remember this guy? This is the limited edition Gundam based special coating Zazabi. Uh, earlier back we said that this guy looks great and this has pretty much confirmed when we saw the pictures of the actual kit itself being displayed at Gundam base. Look at the shine of the paint job of this Zazabi. This is a definitely a must have but I'm wondering who's actually going to buy this at this special high cost. Yeah? And next up is Gundam Converge. I know there are some of uh, Gundam Converge collectors among you out there. This is the Gundam Converge EX24 La Freshia. It's a very interesting piece but there's a caveat, there's good news and bad news. I mean obviously the good news is this is an EX piece so it is large. Yeah, it has a light up effect and LED on top. But here's the bad news. You actually have to buy a separate Gundam Converge heavy gun and option parts in order to have all the tentacles and the heavy gun set if you want to have it in all its full glory. So that is the only downside this time around for buying Converge and especially for Converge collectors because you have to buy the main mobile armor of the La Freshia and you have to buy the option sets for all the tentacles and big gun sets for you to create the awesome diorama. So if you're a Gundam Converge collector, make sure you get both, yeah? And there are also a lot more Gundam Converge series coming up for under series 12 and series 11. But these guys are Premium Bandai, so which kind of explains the cost. Um, for those of you who are into the Unicorn series and so the Gundam Wing series, I think uh, Gundam Converge series 11 and 12 will help you address the needs and your demand 
for those mobile suits so make sure you get both sets i think the price is quite affordable but you know given that you've started the collection of kind of converge from set number one i'm sure you guys will be collecting these as well and finally we have the Momo Suit Ensemble EX Sasabi. There seems to be a lot of new Sasabi coming out this year. Uh, this guy it looks quite interesting. It's a deformed Sasabi, but at the price of 4,200 yen, uh, we are probably be skipping this. So we are not sure who will collect this. It's a bit bigger than a normal regular Converge Sasabi, but it looks all right if you have the money you go for it but uh, for us we just think that the price is a little bit high so that's all our video for today let us know what you think of all the upcoming news and gunplay case i'm sure a lot of you are excited of for the live gunnet action movie coming up very soon but we are more excited about the uh, special coating sazabi version card that's only on sale in gunnet based japan so let us know in the comment section below of what you think of all the new releases thank you for watching as always